I've just tried something new to prevent flashovers, and uh, it's definitely done something interesting. Since this charger is ground, I just have this wire barely touching in there. It's just right there at the fins. I think ground is hooked up to the ground, and uh, it makes a lot of positive voltage, I'd have to say. First of all, here is an ungrounded screwdriver. I uh, can't even see it. Can now. A little bit. Can we focus on it? Oh, wait, that was only uh, 6 volts. Let's uh, see 12 volts here. Watch this. Ungrounded screwdriver. Look how much Corona it makes on here. On its own little wire. Yeah. This is intense. My soldering iron, which isn't plugged in. Man, you should see this. It's like arcing to the air. It's like a mini Tesla coil. Oh, I have an idea. Let's get this little light bulb here. Yeah, doesn't really do anything interesting. But, what will do something interesting is an old plasma ball. One of my broken ones. I don't know how this flyback isn't talking all. There's a bit of corona in there. Well, this is the one that works. Holy frick. Dude, I gotta wire this up properly. Well, I wish you guys could see this in real life. This is amazing. This is with only 6 volts. Okay. Now let's crank it up. It uses a lot of power at uh, 12 volts. But holy crap, look at that, you know? It's crazy. It's like completely glowing. It's just so intense. It's amazing. Look at that. Holy crap. A new discovery has been made. When I disconnect the negative wire off of the ground, it uh, makes better streamers in there. Okay, so uh, it's using about 5 amps with 6 volts. Jeez. Yeah. Whoa, it's not even different. That's weird. But watch this. This is like seriously a plasma ball on crack. Okay, look at it in the dark now. 6 volts, 12 volts, 6 volts, 12 volts. Look at that! That is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. At least plasma ball wise. Holy frick. 